This one is the hardest type of question you can be asked. And if you get this one, you get them all. No kidding. Okay, so let's break down the information. We've got 11.9 mole per liter HCl. That means moles of HCl per liters of solution. And the density of that solution is 1.38 grams per cubic centimeter. Where does that come in? You just wait. It's coming up. Okay, all you have to do, break it down into the formula. You know what you're looking for in terms of mass percent. Mass of solute divided by mass of the total of solution. So when you've got that in your head, watch how it works. Unit cancellation all the way. Your mass percent is going to equal, now you've got 11.9 moles of HCl. I put, should have put HCl here. Moles of HCl times, if I multiply the molar mass of HCl, I get the moles of HCl to cancel and left with the grams of HCl. That's the mass of the solute. But what's the mass of the solution? Well, here's what you know. You got a liter of solution. Oh, did you also know that there were 1,000 cubic centimeters in one liter? That's just one cubic centimeter is one milliliter. So if I've got one liter, I've got 1,000 milliliters or 1,000 cubic centimeters. So there's your 1,000 cubic centimeters. Oh, and did you know the density of the solution? 1.38 grams for every cubic centimeter. Ah, look at the unit of cancellation. It's beautiful. And so in the end, you're left with here grams of what? This is grams of solution. And so when you multiply all of this here by 100, you get yourself the answer, which is, yep, 31.4% percent HCl in the solution. Okay, now mole fraction. Okay, for the mole fraction, the numerator is easy. The denominator could look crazy, but stay with me, okay? So we know it's 11.9 moles per liter. Okay, so what's the chi? Oh, by the way, that's chi. That's the symbol. The symbol is chi, which is mole fraction. Okay, mole fraction, mole solute. So we know what the moles of solute is. It's 11.9 moles of HCl. That's easy divided by the moles of solute plus the moles of solvent. That's moles of solution. Now, we can't just plug in a moles of solution. We know the, we know the uh, volume of the solution and the density of it, but we just can't plug in the moles. We have to divide it in, into moles of solute and moles of solvent. There's the moles of the solute plus here's the moles of the solvent. Okay, here's how the explanation. Watch this. We have one liter of it, correct? That's one liter of the solution. Okay, we know that 1,000 uh, cubic centimeters are in one liter, and so we've got 1,000 cubic centimeters. When we multiply by that density again, that will give us the mass of the solution. Now remember from the mass percent question that 31.4% of it was HCl. So that means then 100 minus 31.4, that's the mass percent of the water present, which is the solvent in HCl, hydrochloric acid, because it's aqueous, and the water is present. So 100 grams minus 31.4 is the 68.6 .6 grams of water, and that is grams of water, grams of solution, grams of solution cancels the grams of solution there. When we divide by the molar mass of water, we get the mass of water. It looks complicated maybe, but if you break it down and think about it, you'll be able to get the mole fraction of 0.185. You're always going to get a number for a mole fraction less than 1 because the solute is always in lesser amount than the solvent. So its fraction out of 1, which is the total, has got to be less than 1. Molality is moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. Here's the moles of the solute, 11.9 moles. Now, what is the kilograms of the solvent, or the grams of the solvent first? Okay, let's go back. We know we got a liter of the solution, cubic centimeters uh, over liters, 1,000 of them. Uh, that gives us the number of cubic centimeters of the solution. And when we divide or uh, multiply by 1.38 grams per cubic centimeter of solution, cubic centimeters cancel, got the grams, we've done this a couple of times already, that's the grams of the solution. Isn't this, again, the percent right here of the water? Well, it's really 68.6, .6, hope you caught that the first time, 68.6 .6 grams of water for every 100 grams of solution. Uh, and then, of course, 
That's a oh, calculation that we've already done previous, but now that gives us, all of that right there, gives us the grams of the water. We don't want grams of the water. We've got to cancel that out and leave ourselves with kilograms. So now you're going to have, right down here, the kilograms of the water divided into the moles of the solute, and that gives you an answer of 12.6 moles per kilogram. That's the unit for molality, moles per kilogram. That's a tough one.